Hello, everybody. I'm back after a little bit long time. Um, like I had some exams to study for, and also, uh, I've just installed Linux, and it just not it it didn't work properly for me, and I just uninstall it, install Windows 11 again, and there were, uh, there was some uh, missing points. And I just try to fixing them and so on, you know. And basically, I I couldn't make any videos about my progression progress. Uh, anyway, um. So okay, I I also couldn't uh, study a lot for Python uh, in the last week. Um, but I still learned something, and I'm gonna sharing with them. Uh, no, I'm gonna sharing them with you in this video. Okay, so I just okay. All right. Anyway. Um. Okay. So let's just start with that. Uh. So the first application. Yeah, application. Yes, guys. <laughs> I I just created my first applications and publish it on. Google Play Store and App Store, and you can go and download it. <laughs> what is that? Okay, okay, okay. Relax, relax. Okay. So, uh, it's just a little application. I didn't publish it yet. I didn't make millions of dollars yet, but I will. <laughs> anyway, so uh, the first thing that I'm gonna sharing them. That I'm, why I can't speak? That I'm gonna sharing with you guys is guessing number um game or application or whatever you say so it's a little bit uh advanced more advanced uh guessing number application than we did before in the last week um we just anyway just instead of rambling i'm just gonna get into the topic just right now so it's the codes, and I'm and we're gonna make them again with you, okay? So let's select our language Python. By the way, I'm gonna just uh make it a little bit short, right? Because we just learned the basics together, I think. And I'm not gonna talk a lot about the details. I'm just gonna go uh a little bit fast, okay? Okay, let's just save it. Um, guessing number. And let's make it guessing number three version, version three. Okay. So in this uh, project, basically we want user to enter a number and it's gonna be the top range number of our random value, okay? And we're gonna create and generate a random value between zero and this top range value that we get from our user. And then we want this user again to guess this random value. And that's exactly what are we gonna do. So basically, first of all, we're of course we're sure, or we're of course, we're gonna of course import um random module. Okay, cool. Then uh we're gonna uh ask the user to enter something like let's say top range or the variable uh name top range. And input empty, let's say. Doesn't matter. Okay, so here we need a real number. And uh, I can say like integer like that. We can convert it to integer, but uh, let's say let's print it and top range. So in this case, If I enter a number, it'll convert it from string to a number and it'll uh, print this. But if I enter a string, it'll give a value, uh, give a value error, like invalid literal for integer with base 10, like FSD or <laughs> whatever. <laughs> so basically, uh, we want to make sure that uh, our users puts a real number before converting to integer number okay so to do that i've learned a new code and it's like we're just going to control with if statement if top range that is digits 
A. Why it's not working? Oh, of course, because we just make it integer already. It's not working. Let's delete that top range. Okay, and it is digits. Basically, it's open parentheses, close parentheses, of course. So basically, it's control uh, the string if it's a, a, a letter or a number. Okay. So if it's a digit, uh, we're going to convert it to an integer. That top range is still not the key. It's, it's, it's an assignment operation. Top range and integer top range. Cool. And if this top range value is less than or less than zero, equal to zero, we just want to say, hey, enter a number greater than zero because our uh, grand, grand number is going to be zero already. So we need a number greater than zero. Okay. And we're just going to quit the program because uh, this number is not valid. Okay. And I'm going to add an else statement here. And it's this else statement is for this if statement. Basically, this uh, input is not digits. We're just going to say print enter a real number. Okay. You can't scam us because we could <laughs> print enter a real number and quit the program as well. Okay. So here I'm going to create a random that uh, random here zero from zero to top range value. And I'm going to store it to a variable called, let's say, random. Uh, value okay cool um basically if our users enter a real number and if this number uh is greater than zero we're not going to quit the program and it's not going to quit the program as well here and it's going to come here and create a number random number from zero to this top range value and it's going to store it to random value variable everything is okay so far okay and then uh, what are we going to do? Um, so, of course, we're going to create a while loop. But before getting into while loop, we need a condition, right? And I'm I'm just going to uh, give three uh, guessing uh, option or not guessing times uh, to the user. Yeah. So to do that, I'm just going to say limits we kill to three and the count is zero. Okay, and create while loop. And here I will say while count is less than limits, let's execute this, right? So what I'm gonna execute is um guess input um guess okay and again we're gonna control we're gonna check if it's a real number in the string in the input or not by doing this. If yes is digits, All right, great. And if it's not, just print uh, invalid. Enter a number. And this time, uh, instead of typing quit the program, I'm just going to say continue. And I learned this uh, now, like last week. Continue, continue, okay. So basically, it'll um, go back to while loop instead to execute the under of this line, okay? So let's write the uh, order code as well. And it's going to be more clear as we go through this process. Okay. Uh, so if the, if here is input, the users enter real number, it's going to convert it to integer. And here I will test out if yes is equal to random value, just print you one. 
bro. And break the while loop. So if not elif, yes is less than random value. Let's uh we we just we're just gonna say print uh, enter a number greater or enter greater number. That's that's better, I think. Anyway, enter greater number, yes. Let's say our random value is 20 and our user gets for 10. And we're gonna say, yeah, enter a greater number. Okay. And the same thing for this random value and print enter um uh, smaller number okay and else if none of them is true i mean if this guess is not equal to random value uh i don't know it's 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 not possible actually because if it's neither either is equal to random value or is less than random value or is greater than random value right there's i think no other way right okay so that's it and i'm gonna go out of the while loop and say else print f string formal string and here random value random value was curl braces and to write the random value okay amazing so basically this else command will execute it only when the while loop uh terminates uh properly without any break command so basically if the guess is not equal to random value after this count is reached the limits it's gonna terminate and it's gonna execute this else uh, command and it's gonna say the real random value uh, because otherwise um users uh could be very curious about what the random value is right um yeah I, okay so by the way i forgot something uh i need to uh increment the count variable by one in every iteration okay cool um so let's just run this and test this out okay enter a top range number Okay, um, let's say 10, okay, and it wants us to guess it, let's say two. Enter greater number, okay, let's say six. Enter greater number, okay, eight. Wow, random value was 10, okay, let's just try it again. That's five, okay, it just generated a, a random value between zero and five. Let's say one, greater number, okay uh four smaller number okay it's just I, I understand that it's just between one and four let's say three okay you won bro yeah i won <laughs> okay that's pretty much it for that yeah that was a little bit advanced for the uh uh compared to previous one yeah, but that's it okay so here i learned is digit commands to test if it's a uh, number in the string or not and also i learned continue commands um yeah and it's for as i said it's if it's executed it'll continue uh before this code has executed and it's go back to while loop top of the while loop okay that's exactly what it is yes that's it uh let's save it and close this down or left <laughs> anyway and this one as well okay that was everything about the number guessing game and let's talk about a little bit more fun which is rock paper scissors okay that's a really amazing uh game i already like this game a lot and now we just learn it in python to do in in coding anyway let's 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 just do it together so create a new file again, select a language, Python, and just save it. Um, rock, paper, three. Okay. Yeah. 
Okay. So in this rock paper, um, so what are we gonna do? I'm just trying to think about it. I just learned today. I'll write down all the codes onto my uh, notebook here under my hands, but I'm not gonna look at this because I just want to uh, think how it was working and I'm just gonna make it um, without looking my notes, okay? So what were we doing in this code? Rock, paper, and scissors. Um, basically, we're gonna import a uh, random module. Yeah, and we're gonna create a list, a variable list. And, uh, options, and here I will define the index rack, comma, paper, comma, scissors. Nah. How it was writing? I don't know it's it's right or not. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Okay, it's our list. And here I will also create a variable called user for and zero and computer score zero. Okay. Um, and we're gonna, um, user guess input enter or just let's say type rack paper or scissors or q to quit and let's make them all lower kings okay and user guess okay okay we just got this and here I'm gonna say if user guess, not guess, no, I just, it's all about the guessing guessing play, uh, game we just did just now. I'm just gonna say user input, user input, and user input as well. If it's a Q, it's Q, let's just uh, create the program. And if user, input um oh, by the way i'm just gonna search for if user input not in uh option list say wait right because basically if user input uh, this string is not in the options. Is if it, if it's not one of them, rock paper or scissors, it's gonna quit the program because there's no way to type anything in order to play this game with the computer or with with or any other person, right? So we're gonna just gonna quit this. And so by the way, there's nothing wrong with using double if, uh, because we just quit the program, right? There, there's nothing wrong. Okay. And um, we're just gonna create a random, random, and random between zero and two, because I just want to use this as an index to pick one of them from the options variable. Okay, so basically, I will say. Uh, rock is zero, uh, paper is one, and the scissors is two, okay? 
And of course, we're just gonna store it into a variable, um, random value. Okay, cool. And here, we're just gonna uh, pick one of them for the computer. And let's say computer pick. And here, options list. And in the option list, gonna select an index with this random value variable. Basically, it's gonna generate a random value between zero and two, and then it's gonna pick one of the uh, value in that list, and it's gonna store it into computer pick. Amazing. Okay, so let's create the if statements. So uh, if user input is equal to rock and Come on, and uh, computer pick is equal to um, Caesar's. I'm gonna say print you won and um, user four are gonna be gonna in increment by one. Okay, cool. Just copy and paste it a little bit again. Okay, let's make these two. Elif. Okay, let's make it paper. Let's make it rock. Let's make it scissors. Scissors. Come on. I really don't understand this. Spelling of the scissors. It's 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 easy to read like scissors, but it's really hard to write it down. C C G. Um. You just copy and paste. Why well, I'm just stressing out? Scissors. Okay. And computer page is paper, of course. Okay. Cool. And the other uh, possibility T is user input is equal to computer pick. It's one of the possibility out there as well, right? In this case, I'm just gonna say both equal, equal, or whatever, okay. And let's look at it, else, print, computer, one. Okay. So what's going on here, right? Uh, basically, we just, so there's three different uh, case in our site. Like we can say rock, paper, or scissors. And if uh, when we say rock, computer pick scissors, we're gonna win. And if when we say paper, if the computer pick says rock, we're gonna win in this case as well. And if it's, equal to each other, we're gonna say both the heal and none of them uh, got a score. And the order all the possibilities, computer will win. Um, yeah, that's basically it. If we don't win and if it's not e equal to each other, uh, there is only possibility to, or, to computer to win, okay? Um, great. And by the way, I'm just gonna come here and print. Um, Computer picks. Computer. Pick. Okay. So our users can see what the computer pick. Okay. And after here, I'm going to say uh, print F and user or color braces user score and computer score color braces i love to say color braces it's great color braces <laughs> All right, it's a great pronunciation. Pronunciation. You know, computer score is computer score, of course. Okay, let's just run this program. 
typed rock, paper, scissors, or cute quits. Let's just test the quits first. Yes, it just quits. Run this again. Uh, let's say paper. And after we say paper, uh, it just uh, generates is random and it's print computer picked, like which see computer picked rock. And this time, just because we say we, we select paper, we won because paper wrapped rock and it kills it, right? And we won and our score is one and computer score is zero. Uh, by the way, um, I'm just gonna, you know what? Uh, we're just gonna, let, let's just put them into a while loop, which has the true condition, okay? Okay, paper. Nah. What's going on? Um, what's wrong with that? Two. Okay, um, by the way, I'm just looking at my notebook, uh, not laptop notebook, it's a physical notebook, I'm just saying it again, and I'm just trying to understand why it's not working properly. Um, yeah, I, I don't understand. Um, let's just delete that and run this again. Why does this happen? Okay, it just Yes, the user input. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I, I just understand. We're not get the inputs in the while loop, and that's why it's just going infinitely. Uh, we just need to put these inputs into while loop. Okay, here. Let's get this. Okay, let's use dragon stat and continue. Okay, what is wrong with that? What's happening? User input if okay if L if okay come on what's going on here? Um, 
Okay, just if user input is Q, break, okay. Oh, no, user inputs. Options, user inputs, okay, user inputs, user inputs. Um, not in options. Of course, yeah. Just let me make this in bits. All right, I just saw it. Okay. Um. Okay. If user input Q break. If user input not in options continue. If user in, okay. Let's just run this now. Paper you won um but we also need to put them in the oh come on why we didn't put them into in the while loop just get this All right, cool. That's a paper. And says computer picks scissors, computer one, okay. And okay, let's say rock, computer pick rock, both equal, great. Let's say scissors, scissors, computer pick paper, and we won. All right, let's. Fit the program. Of course. Oh, yeah. Else here. Uh, print. Format strings. Okay, just let's say only print, print. Okay, mm. formal strings, random value was curl braces. Random value. All right. No. Ah, uh, not. We're not gonna talk about random value here. We're just. <laughs> my mind just uh left in the guessing number game. Anyway, um, here we're just gonna say user score. Curl braces, user score, comma, uh, computer, score. Column, color braces, and computer score as well. Cool. Let's run this again. Paper, Q. Yes, user score zero, computer score one, and so on. Okay. That's pretty much it, guys. Okay, let's just delete these empty lines to stay organized. You gotta stay organized all the time. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. That's it for today. Um, 
by the way, I just gotta I just want to announce announce that um I'm just gonna switch to T sharp uh Unity uh because I just I will just uh specialize in game development. I'm gonna uh, start with Unity and that's why I'm gonna learn C sharp from today or from tomorrow. Yeah. Um that's it for Python. Yeah, not for today, but for Python, that's it for Python. Uh, I've learned the basics of programming language. And I really suggest Python for anyone who will start coding as a beginner level because uh, Python uh, has really great, uh, easy syntax structure. It's almost like reading an English language, right? Like, and, you know, like, is and not in it's it's just like an english right you just are reading from top to bottom as you're reading a like english right so it's really great language to start with um but that's it for me uh i just learned the basics of programming with python and i'm gonna start to learn c sharp uh on unity from tomorrow uh we're gonna make amazing games together guys and also, I learned uh, something uh, about Blender, like 3D modeling, 3D lighting and texturing and so on. And that's why I'm not going to only learn 2D games, but also 3D games as well. Um, because I know 3D modeling and I can uh, model my level environment and make some games and developments in that environment. It's going to be amazing. So, yeah, just keep watching if you want. I'm not going to say subscribe to my channel, etc. Oh, nah, I don't need that. If you like it, you can like the video. If you don't like it, you can dislike the video. Uh, YouTube already uh, disabled the dislike button or the number of how many people dislike a video, uh, which is amazing. Anyway, <laughs> so. Okay. I hope you're learning something with me as well, because I'm learning a lot of things. Yeah. Okay, that's it. That's it. Bye-bye.